Welcome, everybody. We've got a uh, new Global Comics Safari market report. I've got the crew with me, so stay tuned. All right. Welcome, guys. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a market report for you. I know we've been a little absent lately, but we're trying to get the team uh, rolling again. So with me, as always, is Define Triple Nine, Matt. What's up, uh, guys? Josh Peewee uh, is here <laughs> in the house. Yo. And, of course, the ever-famous uh, Rob's Comics. Is it famous or infamous, Rob? I I'm not sure which. Well, I'll probably say infamous, you know. Infamous is he, he's been doing right. the rounds, spreading spreading the foreign uh, hobby as you uh, as best he can. I've seen him on several shows, um, sharing nice. info and all that Johnny good Appleseed. stuff. Johnny yes. Appleseed of foreigns. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're just gonna hang out. We have found some sales that we've seen in the last you know a couple months that were interesting. Just do some general market trends and see where it goes. So, you guys yeah. ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. First one, a little bit of pre-code horror here. Witch's nice. Tale number three. Quantos de Bruja. 250. Which is honestly pretty good. I mean, that's... I think so, too. It's yeah. a decent-looking copy. I mean, it's not a high-grade copy, but presents real well. But, I mean, that's that, that feels not same as an American market, but not... Too far off, honestly. No. Yeah, we're not we're I not think, in significant multiples like some we used to be. I think horror has gotten some fresh eyes, even within the foreign, even within foreign collectors. I think, you know, it's. I think that some of it might have to do too with more people are kind of showing foreign horror, and so people get interested and and at least I mean for me that's one thing that I've noticed happening. I've been really trying to pay pay more attention to the horror stuff just because I've seen more of it pop out, and uh, I've been buying more of it as a result. Yeah, I think there's been a little more exposure. Um, mm -hmm. This next book kind of proves that. Uh, big boy book hit. Uh, Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Chamber Chills twenty three. I uh, I saw this one. I thought, man, I might I might sneak in and, and grab it, and it. I didn't. It went. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, two K is a bucks. is a hell of a price. Yeah. I mean, someone really wanted it. That's on par with American copies. I mean, give or take a little bit in grade, but that's a nice presenting one there. So. Yeah. Yeah. I know there was uh, there was an American one. It was a little lower grade, but it sold around the same time for I think only fifty dollars more than this yeah. copy did. Was there a 19 that went recently too, or am I making that up? There, I mean, I have three of them in my market report. I think the highest one that went was over three. It was like 31 something. So, I mean, it's, um, it's getting up there. I mean, it's, it's the same. It's almost the same as American. Like, you know, these are the classic covers that go higher. Whereas like your witches tales and stuff like that, you know, it, yeah. it tends to be smaller. Yeah, smaller, smaller appeal. Yeah, you get you get in these mega keys and they're going. But this one surprised me. I thought it might sneak by, and it did not. No, it, it jumped past all reasoning I had, and I was like, nope, I don't need it that maybe, bad. Maybe <laughs> maybe what we're doing yeah. works. Uh, yeah. This so one, we're talking about Newtons. Ones. Yeah, these are picking up steam. What what did they kind of used to run last year, year before, Matt? I'd say if if it had a poster, you were gonna get it maybe 80, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, maybe. And without a poster, you could get these for like 20, 30 bucks. But I think I think maybe as as the collector market, as as these collectors are, are educating themselves that without the poster, these are basically incomplete. So mm -hmm. they want them, they want them, they want them with the poster or the swap card. And if you've got it with the poster, it 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 begs to be premium. It begs to be a premium, and I think well, that's what we're most seeing. of these posters are just 
uh, a centerfold type yep. poster, kind of yeah. like kind of like the Poison Ivy uh, first appearance one. It's very similar to that. Yeah, I want I want to talk about this because I bid it on this one. I ta I capped it out at two hundred bucks and realized that you know of course it's Australian and the shipping, but I only had two hundred and twenty five dollars in my PayPal account to get it, so I was outbid by. Oh, I hate shipping. that. You so, were yeah. right. and, to, and to make insult to injury, I'm not mad, but I'm the timing was wrong because it was the week of my anniversary. I was out of town. And uh, Spiros, a, a friend that lives in Australia, he showed me this book before he put it on eBay. And I didn't respond in time because I had no sales service. So I missed the opportunity to get this before he even put it on eBay. Oh, so, man. There it goes, guys. My nightmare is failure. I'm a cat, I'm a cat fan. Captain America 100 is the poster. It was a two for one, and I missed it. Oh uh, man, that much. And compared compared to what some have been going for, that one honestly seems like kind of a deal. I mean, yeah. the next time one of these comes up with a poster, it's I guarantee you it'll go for more. And there's one on eBay right now without a poster, and the starting bid is for more than this. So really, yeah, hey. is it the one with pin markings on it? I don't know. It might be. Okay. So I'm remember, kind of, you know, if we're talking about where the market is, you know, the, the Mexican market seems to be kind of the king. It's the closest to the American. Yeah. Um, we've seen a little bit in Brazil picking up. And, and I think these Australians are kind of kind of the next wave to kind of pick up. It feels like, you know, they've been kind of forgotten. They're kind of weird colors on some of them. And, and I love the colors. <laughs> But I think they're they're kind of now the the, the kind of gem of the time because they're just they're still reasonably affordable, mm -hmm. and they're in English. Let's let's not forget that factor yeah. too. Yeah. The fact that they're in English and they can be read, at least for English speaking American collectors, that throws another little wrinkle into that equation. I think where they're being found, they can be read, um, and guys, I'm telling you, ask some of the Aussie guys. There were people in in Oz that were using these to line their litter boxes. I fucking swear they they did not give a shit about the mutants. They did not. There were collectors that collected them and stuff, but in comparison, if you walked into a, in fact, some of the comic I've heard stories of comic book stores there that have back rooms that had some of these. They didn't even put them out because they didn't think anyone, no one gave a shit about them. Wow. And so, you know, to see them. I mean, even talking in the early, early days, you could pick up Newton, key Newtons with posters for like 30 bucks on Australian eBay. And I'm talking way back when. And this they was Australia to sale too. So, I mean, yeah, like, they just not, exploded. everybody didn't see it. Yeah, true. Yeah. If you weren't looking on Australian eBay, you didn't see this. Mm -hmm. so. It's amazing. These books are really rising in value. Yeah. Newtons. All right. So we can't go without talking about the, the Pencilin <laughs> Cannon run. Uh, this was a, a straight up, I think this was an auction, if I'm not mistaken. Um, nice, yeah, nice copy of this book for 15, just under 1500, all said and done. Um, you know, one of the most infamous ones with the Vampirella cover. Yep. Late, um, I mean, it's just tough. It's just a tough book. I don't have this one. I thought about bidding and I I talked myself out of it because I'm being responsible, but yeah. <laughs> and and yeah. that's that's cheap. I mean, cheap compared. I mean, you got the one that sold two months before that that sold for twenty five hundred, and it wasn't Agreed. graded. Agreed. There, yeah. this was actually a steal compared to what I thought it would go for. Uh, I just wasn't willing to get into this this mm -hmm. uh, particular pissing match on this one. So, and but it's, it's a nice copy. I mean, a six five in a in a La Prensa is no joke. Yeah, yeah, that's higher grade for sure. And this one does yeah. not pop up. I don't know why it, it, it's so difficult to find this one uh, at this point in the run. You just don't see them very often. And I think that's why somebody somebody did get a good deal on this, man. Yeah. I, I think maybe it was more collectible to them, too, at the time. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't see them come up. I, I don't know if they're in personal collections or, or what is going on. Because usually it's the end of the run that's tough. The very yeah. beginning, the very end. This is, I mean, so the numbers around here I see all the time, but this one, no. Maybe there was a production. Maybe there was some something uh, low distribution. I, I don't know. 
but yeah. it, it, no it is accurate. This is yeah. a, one of those tough ones. Agreed. And it, and it doesn't make sense according to like where it is in the spectrum. So mm -hmm. just like that huge lot that sold that last issue that was on there. I said I, that was probably the steal of that whole run. You know, oh, yeah. The running issue. When I was what like, did it go for, that, Rob? It was like six, a little over a grand. Yeah, 1600 Yeah. It's it beat steal. out the big booty. And I was like, you know what? That one was warranted because I haven't seen that. one. that was my first time seeing it listed for anything. So Yeah, the end of the run is impossible. Yeah, yeah. insane. All right. This one is, uh, you know, just a, uh, uh, a high-grade example of uh, an early – Adventure Comics 160. Um, but I mean, I, I've seen a lot of these pop up in higher grades, but like one collection of them. It's not like multiple copies of any book, but like yeah. somebody had a nice collection and has graded them and kind of been letting them go slowly. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But for like a non key issue, just to, you know, just a yeah. standard cover, that's a pretty, pretty solid price because you used to be able to snag these kind of things for under 100 bucks all day long. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. This, that's good. It's a bit of bit of growth in these. I mean, I, I think if I'm the seller, I wouldn't be selling yet just because to find these again might be real freaking tough. Yeah. But I don't think the market's quite there. I mean, it's also it's not classic cover, so that's always a harder thing. But, you know, there's yeah. people that appreciate finding their their particular issue in that kind of grade. So that was more yeah, of a shocking sale to me just because it's kind of out of the blue. And it's that's what country really is? high grade. That's Australian. Australia. Ooh. And those books, I think, are like paper thin, like the cover. Yeah. And it's cheap, it's cheap newsprint, paper. yeah. Yeah. There's no gloss on them. I'm amazed that book, that a book, yeah, I don't ever see them in that kind of grade. That's probably why it sold for as high as it did, because it it could be highest graded forever. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Just a gist, yeah. Potentially, it could have been a pedigree if it was, uh, you know, a little more known. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think there might be some pedigrees in Australia that that could get could garner that status, but yeah, just not. Just we're not know. there yet. Yeah. All right. So it says Iron Man number one. That's the uh, German. The uh, Tales of Suspense cover. Um, it's not a bad price. High grade, yeah. I don't know. I haven't trended this particular book. So what? What? What do you guys have seen in this in the past? I've been stalking German eBay a lot lately, and uh, this is one of the only copies I've seen for sale in the past. I don't know, three, four months. So it's it's one of the harder ones to find of the big, you know, like Avengers one, uh, you know, Punisher book one twenty nine. this, the other keys. It's, it's definitely the hard, harder one out of the bunch. What, and what, it looks really nice. What year estimate is this from? These are 72 or seven. Yeah. It's either 72 or 74. Yeah. All right, so Early a little 70s. Later. Yeah. Okay. So not, but, not unreasonable to find them in high grade. No, nah, yeah. not unreasonable, but they are, these were, these William Verlides were printed on pretty cheap paper too, though. Really thin. I, yeah. I've, I've always thought they were damn thin. It, yeah. it wasn't until little, some of the later issues that the, I think the quality of the paper got better. But I put um, these, I put these in the classification with the Brazilian books. The paper, the paper quality is flimsy. Um, yeah. My comic shop, a lot of them didn't list pictures. You have to literally know the title and the number for what you're looking for and take a gamble. Like, I found the first uh, Mbaku by typing it in my comic shop and bought it for like 30 bucks. And when I got it, I said, wow, this is high grade. And I got a 9.4. So, yeah. you know, a lot nice. of times you have to know the title and the number, yeah. type it in perfectly, and then, you know, it'll pop up. But I know a lot of these are high grade if you just know what you're looking for. And you got to be careful on these because they do have uh, like the Marvel value stamp in them. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of these that have them cut out. Yeah. Huh. Good to know. Yeah. He printed that in the U S too, which I thought was kind of crazy on the inside. It has mm -hmm. it's in English on the inside. Huh. All right. This one, this bad boy looks like a nicer copy of the, uh, 
the Arabic Star Wars. Yeah, that does look like a nice copy. I, I'm not surprised by that price, actually. Oh my. Many of them are bound, right? Yep. This is the one many I'm thinking of, of. Many of them are many of them are, are bound. Um this is really nice though. I mean, shit. It's it's so nice. I'd be almost afraid that it could be a repro, but yeah, I kept looking at it like, huh. I, I yeah, probably would have seen that. That would have been a good buy. That is a really nice one. Um a lot of the Star Wars comic collectors have really, really been pushing on finding uh, the, some of the rare foreigns. I, I think the market on those are actually going to be going up. Um, so this isn't, this doesn't surprise me at all. No, the, the, the Star Wars seems to, they seem to gravitate a little more naturally to international stuff. I don't know if it's because it's, you know, they're used to bootleg toys and all these other things yeah. that they've faced. So it seems like a little more natural um, parlay into their interest level. Oh, yeah. yeah. And a lot of them are completionists. They want everything. Yeah. Right, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> we're well, I mean, we we're in a thread that. of those with those guys. You are too, John. We're in that one Star Wars thread. Those guys we, want every. We talk about that ugly Russian bootleg comic that sells for about a grand. I'm like, I would yeah. buy this for 500 every day. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this has got the imagery. It's got, you know, a, a nice presentation. And it's damn fine condition. I... I I hope that is a true original and not a fossil meal. Yeah. Well, don't make the person nervous, Matt. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't make them second guess it, man. Yeah. Somebody, somebody in a thread somewhere. It's so goes, nice. Damn it, Matt. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's yeah, just so nice. That's, that's Star all Wars stuff is it. Star Wars stuff is tough. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be very very uh, interesting to see where that market goes. Yeah. <sighs> Doom. Good old Doom. Yep. Uh, the Creepy World, <laughs> which is uh, the Alan Cass or Class uh, printing from the UK. Yep. Um, they're they're picking up. I mean, they're they're definitely gaining steam because these used to be real cheap in the day. Oh yeah, dude. They, these again, it's the same thing that we see with the Newtons. You could be you could you could get these for pennies on the dollar. What what they're going for now? Yeah. Well, and this may still be this may be nickels on the dollar versus the U.S. at this point, but still. Yeah. What did uh, What did the last one go for? That one was graded, right? Uh, or no, no, no. no. One, it was on one that sold for over a thousand. Fourteen hundred. Yeah. Because Ken Worthing tagged me in it, and I was like, uh, "Don't remind me, Ken. I sold you yeah. mine. Don't." <laughs> oh yeah, you did sell him yours. How much did you sell it for? <sighs> Nowhere near that. Well, no, it was close, but I used that money for the Ogiri 88, so it was well worth the buy. Oh, yeah. In my eyes, so. You traded it for a Brazilian key. Yeah. Yeah, but I was, I, I'm a Doom fan, and I was like, that's the, probably the one time I'll have it in my possession, but I could say that I own one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, I, I think these are picking up steam just because the Americans are so far out of realm that these are giving people a chance to have something. Yeah, yeah and again, one. it's in English. Yes. Nope. So That's it's what, got that this going one, for it. I think this yeah. one would be the next one to really pop, Creed World 36. But I know the uh, La Prenza is probably it is the closest to the American. Yeah, there, I there, yeah. there was one that sold somewhere less than five, but we couldn't we couldn't find the data on it. We couldn't track uh, down the actual sale that, price. That on one it. is tough, man. That La Prenza first yeah. Doom is... So very tough. Yeah. So yeah, it was somewhere under five K, but I bet not by much. Yeah. yeah. Knowing the I'm seller, sure it's here. worth sure it's every here. penny. So. All right, another interesting one. Hmm. Ooh. and one. Dominant. One uh, sold earlier, so we've seen the two already. Yeah, one sold. Jeez, uh, that was a while ago. Early on, right? Yeah. Uh, it was it sold for over a thousand. I know that, and I think it was a lower grade one. It was so like this 11. one, this one snuck by. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't even one. see this until after it was sold. This is a key, but goddamn, if it's ugly, ugly. <laughs> I think this is one that's probably more important in the country of origin than than going to get a huge following. But yeah. it is just interesting to see some of these. Yeah, 
Um, you know, so the first, you know, the Swedish Superman. It's a cool book. It's a not a great cover. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I would love would love to own it, own it and have it in my collection. I'm just not like, prioritizing it. I'm not yeah. prioritizing. It's just it's just ugly, ugly art. Yeah. Yes, yeah. There, there are, are for there's some better. There's some better Stalman in covers. Yeah. <laughs> their their earlier stuff had some questionable things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. It is interesting. I do see some of these floating around. Uh, I was at a I was at a con uh, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago in uh, Columbus, and mm -hmm. there was a couple dealers with a little bit of older foreigns. Not a lot, but a couple. And you know, I saw some of these issues, but nothing nothing caught my eye. What were they pricing them at, John? Do you remember? They were just uh, common issues. They're around 100, 150 bucks, and, and I don't oh, that, think that's, that's a price actually... they're gonna. I don't think it's a price they're gonna sell at. No. Where they're at. No. Not not for most. I I might pick one up for 150 bucks because I know sure. that depends on what it is. But <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's... not. It, the, the, these books are not the ones that are gonna get most people excited. I mean, you get mm -hmm. some original covers or some interesting looks, but. That's a tough sell, you know. It's it's like seeing yeah. for run, fill, run filler golden age Superman. You know, it's gonna sell, but it's not gonna sell yeah. fast. Yeah. yeah, for for as early as this stuff is, outside of like you know issue one through I don't know maybe like twenty, they're not that hard to find. Like yeah. you can go on Tradera and type in Stallman in, and I mean you're just staring at Superman books from the fifties. Yeah, I think they they have a decent stash of them floating around. So, yeah, I think the Swedish are probably of of all the Scandinavian countries from the fifties. I, I don't know. My gut just tells me there's you're 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 gonna find more Swedish stuff than you're gonna find the Danish or the Norway. Mm -hmm. I think those. I just don't think those countries had the print runs that Sweden had. Yep. But I could be wrong. But that, my gut tells me that. All right, solid sale though for sure. All right, this is a book we got to kind of talk about. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the English translation from the Germans of the Sopranende Ambre Arena One Twenty Eight, the wedding issue. They had originally put out the German translation, and so then they decided to do many years later, just recently, honestly, a, a yeah. English issue. They were selling them for a pretty reasonable price eight eight ten bucks a piece, yeah. something like that. Uh, I know a few guys got them. I was kind of sleeping on it and wasn't really paying attention. I actually meant to buy one just to, to read the story translated, but I did not. Um, and now they're selling for about a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm blown away yeah. by that. Well, I think there's a lot of people in the community that know about the original and mm -hmm. they just <clears throat> said, this is, I'm never going to find it because there's not many popping up. I mean, we see one to two a year tops, pop up in yeah. anywhere we're watching. And uh, so this was a chance to grab something, you know, at a hundred bucks, that's that's reasonable compared to everything else in, in the American variant market, you know? Yeah, and it's in English and you can read the story. Exactly, I'm sure there's so many people out there that want to read that story. Yeah. I'm gonna have to have Josh uh, scan his and uh, send it to me just so I can read it. Right. So <laughs> now the first print was nice. Go ahead, Rob. So now, the, so now the first prints of the German copies will be a higher value because these are selling for a hundred dollars now. They Not should. Really. So now we're looking at a reprint of a facsimile. Well, I don't know. I think the the German editions have less demand for the average collector versus the the American. Yeah, I would think now that you actually can get a chance Maybe. at like reading it, the German yeah. would become less. This has also got yeah. you know the American verized logo, so it's it's an interesting book. And and uh, again, I, they did cool. the, did they do the original cover on the German one? Yes, yes, they yes. did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anything. No, they didn't That's alter it. Part. Yeah. Well, we'll see. My 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 original originals are sitting at CGC, and I hope. To oh, see I can't them wait. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see what that one grades out at, John. I uh, know. I'm excited yeah. for you. Yes. I am too. Yeah, it's going to be a millionaire. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Marvel number one is what they titled it, but. Uh, Dairacha. Racha. Racha. 
Is that what it is? Rocker? Yeah, Rocker. Rocker, Rocker maybe? I, I don't know. Another William Verlag German. Which yeah, is but this one probably yeah, snuck oh, by because of, because of the titling a bit. Like, yeah, they, they, they should have put Avengers 1 in the title, you idiot. Yeah. So honestly, strong bids on this one for what it what it was. It could have got it could have probably been higher. Oh yeah, it could have. And well, the coloring was, on this is wild. Wild. This was also only on German eBay. Oh okay. This wild. was a slanted. Yeah. Yeah. When you I you find very little like everything that I've been looking at is all on German eBay. So I mean, this was unless if there's you know a couple of us having people bid for them. I mean, this was all. Local indigenous, local, yeah, and it's a it was a killer copy. So you're saying you can't bid on this one on traditional I, eBay? No, like when I no, like I have to go on German eBay and then be like, hey, can you bid on this for me? Like I can't do anything. Okay. Oh, you can't bid on it? I, hmm. It's not a not like a worldwide listing. It's a local no. listing. Yeah. Okay. Like we can see it, but we can't bid. Like I tried to get my hands on a. a the uh the first Mbaku. I tried to do it before, but I found it on my comic shop like a week later. So I know for that one, that one went for about a hundred bucks, I think, on German eBay. But I said, dang, I hope I can find one. And I found it for 20 bucks. So I, it was a win for me. So but yeah, we can't bid on outside US bids. Not on well, some countries I you can, on some you could. Some countries oh, you can work it out, but you better talk to the seller. But yeah, some, exactly. Some you can't. I just know Germany. I couldn't. I just know that one. Mm. But everywhere else, I could like Italian, um, European stuff, like Spain. I can get on those. It's, prob but it's probably a setting that. that they set, and they basically say no international bidders. About yeah. that's what it is. I reached out to the community to help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, another another uh, early one. This is the the Yaffa uh, Thor number one. Australian. Um, yeah, the Yaffas are, are wacky too. Um yep. yeah, they're big. It's not a it's not any of the you know the key covers, but it's the first one of that run. Um high grade for a like, Yaffa near mint is an interestingly yeah. high listing. So I think that alone it probably should have sold for a bit more just because of the rarity yeah. of something I don't, like yeah. that. I don't these see are big. Good yeah, they're it's they're big, and it was it was nice. It was in nice shape. Like I mean, these are these are magazine, large magazine size. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, they're that they way until help. they're not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah they're, yaffas are big until all of a sudden they're not. They're they're, they're like digest size. Yeah. Like, and then they went the back. Heck? And then they went back to the big. Yeah. Yaffas are yeah. weird, man. I bid on this weird one publisher. too. You lost it, Rob? Now, this one was up the same time the Avengers one was, the mm -hmm. Avengers 4. So this one was up the same time, but my money went towards that one, and then this one ended the same time. So I was watching them side by side, and then I said, eh, this one has Enchantress on the inside. So this one, that's why this one went for what it did. Yeah. But, you know, Loki's over, but, you know, Sylvie's a Loki. So it was kind of like a lost spec if somebody was trying to do that. But uh, it was a really nice – it really – it was – a very nice book. Yeah, it was nice because normally when you see them and they say stuff like that, and you look at the picture and you're like, "That is so far mm -hmm. off from very yeah. fine." Like, yeah. but this one was clean. I, yeah, I shared this one in the group, and I said, "Wow, this is this is a real nice copy." But I bid on the Avengers. Yeah. All right. Woo! So that's a high price because this was not this is not the toughest one by far to get. No. It's. On the on the on the more common end of the scale. Yep. This is a condition. this is an eye opener. Yeah, the maybe condition the condition. It's a nice condition yeah. book. It's not a beater. Yeah, it was it was I'd give it I would have given it a VF. Yeah. And in the international community, that's a that's a nice grade. Let's, let's yeah, be that's a slab kind of date, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that's a solid price because I you used to be able to buy most of the Punishers. You know, it's been a, a hot book for a long time just because everybody likes collecting that set uh, but you know it was a 100 200 book box now you're looking at four so yeah. it's definitely moving up getting a lot more uh interest um but god love you if you try that set it's gonna if, make you're you gonna, crazy and yeah, they, don't, if you, 
Go ahead, Josh. Sorry. I was going to say they don't pop up that much anymore either because I, I go on Tradera quite a bit just to try and keep track of as much as I can. And mm -hmm. they they used to pop up more, but now they they really don't pop up that much. And when they do, they're they're in a lot lower grade. Yeah, so this this is whew. yeah, good luck to anyone starting out with the 129 set cuz <laughs> you better you better be ready to drop some coin cuz yeah. there's so all, many of them. There's so You've many the of pinnacle. them. We've seen the pinnacle. It's, it's it's a tough tough. Yeah, not only set. drop coin, wait years. I mean, you got the Colombian and Oh yeah. Yep. Hats off to You're you, pretty... Josh, on a killing joke, because that that I'd have quit a long time ago. Like you know, yeah, enough. the killing joke set's unreal. We 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 got to do a show on with on that. Yeah, well, it'll be a four hour extravaganza, <laughs> four parts. All right, this one I thought was neat. I, I yeah, I love the I, coloring on that. I meant to bid on this, and I I kind of just got distracted. Ninety-nine dollars, John. Come on, you could have just threw up two hundred. Yeah, yeah. It was I, I, I missed it. It wasn't like I didn't. I just I saw it and I was on my feed, and then I was doing something that day and just didn't remember to go bid. But I mean, it the coloring's wacky. Uh, it's a nice looking copy. Um, it just I, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I didn't I'm even thinking that's that. a steal. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that's a cool that's that's a steal somebody got themselves a nice book for a very reasonable price yeah that's an interesting little set there that silver surfer set i don't think there's a ton of them i don't think so either i no. think there's maybe no. four or five maybe no there's a brazil because i've got that one and mm -hmm. i imagine there's a mexican somewhere i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know if prenza did the surfer huh i don't think la prenza no. well they did they did do the silver surfer but it, it it's the it's number like, one, though. It didn't go very far, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, I can't say I've seen all of them either. So, but yeah, this is one I kicked myself for missing. Yeah, that's that's a great price. Uh, this one, I I was another one. I got distracted. I think I was just not on my phone that day. Um, but this one felt like it wasn't a bad deal. I mean, uh, -uh. I mean, one hundred twenty-five like, now. Fine, but. I know uh, uh, some of the guys in the chat were saying this is high. They used to be able to get them cheaper, but I'm like, I, I don't, I don't feel like that's that high, really. I mean, and honestly, it's, you're you're sitting, you know, this is a low grade. The American's going to run you about three, four hundred bucks in that kind of similar grade, so it's it's catching up. Yeah. 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 And you got to understand, man, the Navarro. This one from, also did not have like the American listing number in it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. They put the that 209 another, from this. It was another mistake. Um, mm -hmm. But I, Navarro's from the 50s when you can find them. I mean, they're out there, but they're, they're, I don't know, man. You just, anytime I see any 50s Navarro's that are just even not, I don't care if they're key, I don't care what they are. I buy them if they're reasonably priced because mm -hmm. you just don't see them all the time. I don't think a whole bunch of these survived. Remember, Mexico was a Marvel kind of country for the longest time. I, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This is I, I watch a lot of these good. kind of auctions for for Superman books I, just because, and I don't, I don't see. I've not seen this one before, so I don't know where Steve's seeing them pop up. Probably on Libre, but. Yeah, maybe on on Metallica. Toto. Yeah, um, or yeah. Toto. But uh, uh, this was—I will be honest. This is one I sold, so I don't usually put the best offer out there. But uh, I did sell this guy. It is cover detached. It is complete, but it is beat, and I sold it for uh, one fifty. So yeah, wow. that that seems to be the buy-in for the, for the yeah. bottom. Wow, for the bottom. Yeah. Now you 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 could maybe sneak an auction in on on some a tad cheaper, but not much. I I don't think so. A hundred bucks seems to be the somebody's going to snag it price. Yeah, yeah. The prince is still going to be a two hundred dollar book or more. Yeah, the average price is I would say in a couple hundred. I have a few listed right now because I'm thin in the herd, but I put up some nicer in copies. You know, definitely in the the find uh, a little above fine range and. 
I put him at, I'm not going to go below five on him. So no. yeah. I, don't, I don't care which issue they are. I'm not going to do it because he won't find him again. Yeah. Right. So, um, but yeah, just interesting to see the bottom end selling. Yeah. And then Woo! I think this is the last one. This was actually my sale too. So I just was sharing. Um, I got 375 on a best. Well, it actually wasn't a best. It was a best offer, but not listed that way. So it did sell for 375 through an offer. Um, I, honestly, th there's just not much out there on the higher end one selling because they didn't trade hands much. There was maybe three, four years ago, some nine O's popped up. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I know pretty much everybody that bought them because we were all talking about it at the time. And it was two to 300 books bucks at that time for a 9 now so right. uh starting to climb i did see a beat raw copy sell for 100 bucks but there's nothing listed under about 200 dollars. whether it's and they're rough yeah, yeah if, if you if you look rough. at the italian ebay listings they'll all say nice grade but if you look <laughs> at them they're beat um it, it just 200 is about the buy-in now yeah, um, yeah. I, and i probably let this go a little cheap but i felt okay about the seller and I or the buyer and I let it go. So um yeah. It's tough. 375 ain't bad. No. no it, it was I felt it was a reasonable price. I wasn't mm -hmm. gonna go any lower. Um but uh yeah I just also just I don't there aren't that many graded in, in that nice of shape. So yeah no there's not to actually see a real sale I thought was important because you know there's 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 a seven O listed for fifteen hundred bucks. So like yeah. buy that oh, not be crazy. Oh, seven O. There's a there's a Stan Lee Sig one up. I can't remember if it's a seven or an eight, but they want like two K. Wow. So yeah, I thought this was a realistically priced sale. Yeah, yeah no one has a nine six out there. Yeah. Yeah, so right. I think that was the last one we had on our thing. So I'm gonna kick that out. Um, so any kind of other trends or things we'd wanted to talk about or touch base on or anything you wanted to share that you kind of picked up this, uh, in the hiatus, I'm going to talk cause, uh, I think I'm on whatnot and Josh jumped in with me and I sold a couple of the modern Italian variants. I sold the acetate, um, guardians of the galaxy to Chetto with this acetate, uh, cover sold that one for about 91 bucks. And um, I sold uh, I sold the Brazilian Heroes for Hire one, the one that's really hard to find. I sold that one for fifty five. It was a B copy. It was brittle, but it, it presented really well. The cover was still attached with original staples, so that was a win for whoever got that. Yeah, yeah fifty five bucks. That's yeah. cheap. That that Brazilian one is hard as heck. Yeah, yeah I've asked so. the Brazilian guys for it, and they they kind of are like, yeah, no, not not <laughs> gonna find one for you. Sorry. It's yeah. hard. Fifty five bucks. Damn, they got a good good price on that. Yeah, well, what not what not's a lot of new 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 to the comic community, so they're not really hit. But the ones I've sold so far, oh Venom three, the uh, the Null variant sold that mm. one for ninety one dollars too. That one sold. I, I thought Null was dead, but I mean it's it's still sold for because it was a very very nice copy. So that was a win for somebody. So outside of that. Um, yeah, that, that, Steve, that, Steve, that book, Steve, I was like, wait, I was gonna say that book went nuclear when you sold it on whatnot. It was like, yeah, I, I, I put it up, for, I put it up for five bucks to see where it went, and it ended up at 91. So, yeah, a lot of people are still on it. So, the modern forms is definitely really taking taking light to people because they like the covers. And then, me and Josh are finding ones with the foil on it and things of that nature. And those are, I mean, we think they're nice enough to be like. I might want to keep this. This is really nice. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the American, the American yeah. moderns are interesting. If you watch Instagram and all those things, that's where you're seeing some of those move. Yeah. Yep. So, whatnot. There are there are people out there that are interested. They're just afraid to bid, which I kind of get. But you know, with awareness and more of us talking about it, it's gonna it's gonna pop. We're gonna talk about it more. Don't worry about it, guys. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was like Rob was selling, and I was in the chat, like telling people, like, "Hey, like, <laughs> this is this is a rare book." Or yeah, is, like yeah. you know, when he when he put the like the Venom find. three up, I'm like, uh, I'm like, you know, just so you guys know, I'm like, 
you know, if you were to buy this from Brazil, like if you only got this book, like it's a minimum of forty dollars just to ship, ship it. Yeah. Like yeah, that's the ship. Yep. The buy-in cost is high. Yeah. yeah. So ninety-one dollars. That's a win. I mean, this. I said, uh, I, even the go, going back to the um, the Chichetto Gamora. Even Josh bid on it. He was like, "I never seen that. What's that?" Me, Dude, it's a double a acetate cover. Like that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But that's, yeah. that's a, so it's like the '90s in uh, foreign comics all over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's 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 a beautiful book. Yeah, the quality on the Italian stuff is amazing. Like I, I said, some the CGC that can't be pressed. So I'm waiting to see what those come back as. But a lot of those variants, I'm like this. CGC is going to grade the inside cover, not the acetate. And mm -hmm. the inside was immaculate, so you can imagine that in a nine, nine, or a ten. Yeah, modern modern wow. foreign books are not all of them, but it's crazy how much more like yeah. stuff that the companies did for the people that buy the books. Just like you know mm -hmm. the the raised letters or the raised figures yeah, or like the foils or like the acetate. Like they actually were like you know what what can we do to this book to, you know, try and make it, you know, a little cooler, or, you know, make it sell better. And here it's just like, yeah, print it out, ship it. Like, and then some of them, some of the ones on the back of it, they say limited to 222 mm -hmm. or 333 or That's only tiny. 200 of this one or 300 of this one. And they'll put it on the back too. So a lot of those, we'll talk about that more on the show, but a lot of those are limited, more limited to a lot of the variants that's out now. You know, we're about 1400 or 1500, you know, it's only 200 of these. Do you want? Yep. You know which one I've always liked: the Italian yeah. Venom Zero Platinum with the with yeah the, with, you know, the little with the little with the little yeah with the little with the little uh, it's it's like a phone directory or something yeah it's just yeah, like yeah. the weirdest like yeah. thing to include or or the Italians do it like crazy or like the uh, the X Force with the watch yeah it's the new mutants yep, in the bag it's like a yep. watch in the bag I mean it's like. Yeah. They they go all out. The Italians mm -hmm. have always gone all out. I mean, their 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 editions rock. Uh, another thing I think that is of interest is it seems like there's more sellers from the countries of origin now that have either found our group or, or are selling on American eBay. Or I think there's I think there's just more access to a lot of these editions now because people are realizing Americans pay good money for these books. So I think there, that's what I've noticed. It seems like there's, I mean, almost every day in our Facebook group, it seems like there's a new Italian or a new German yeah. or something in and, and selling stuff. And yep. that's going to help too, because as we, as we see more availability of these books, we're going to see more of them make their way here into the States at least and more visibility, more sales, more, you know, it's just going to help the market. I think that's that's definitely helping the market right now. Well, I was at that show and uh, talking to some of the dealers. Some of them had some other ones where you know somebody asked me advice on buying one. He's like, "What should I spend on this? I got I got a lead on it." I'm like, "Well, let me you know, there's different versions of that one. Let me tell, see what you're talking about," because they don't always realize that sometimes the same country puts out the same cover a couple different ways mm -hmm. yeah. in different times. So um, I think everybody's trying to get educated a little bit on it. And uh, yeah. Just, yeah, we'll just see. I'm going homework. to uh, I'm going to that show on Sunday in Ohio at the oh, Copperwell Winery. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, is. and I'm gonna be I'll be selling and talking about nothing but foreigns. So we'll see. Are you gonna do? Uh, are you gonna do uh, like a like a panel, Josh? No, I'm not gonna do a panel just because I wanna I wanna be able to try and sell some stuff. But I mean, I'm obviously gonna probably be talking to everybody while they're there because um, yeah. I'm gonna have you know I bought some of those nice little stands to stand books up on, so I'm gonna you know maybe put up some like rotate it every hour like put up some big Brazilian books and then you know put up some horror stuff and you know just be like hey if you guys want to ask questions go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely show some Cortez horror, dude. That, yeah, that'll blow some some people's minds. Yeah, yeah. Well, and uh, the flip side crew will be at Baltimore. We've got a table. I'm probably going to bring some foreign books to just expose the market and see what happens. So nice, nice. More to come. Yeah, I'm going to bring, bring Big Booty Gwen for photo ops for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I just want to get a picture with it. <laughs> Speaking of Big Booty, I got uh, some Duran stuff. 
All right. Uh-oh, he pulled out the trifold. All right. Let's I know go. you've got some, some Duran stuff too, Rob, but uh, he was, you know, Duran was selling some stuff. And this is some original art. Hold on. Oops. Sorry, I messed you up. It's okay. No problem. Yeah, so I got this. Very, very cool. And then he sent me a whole bunch of, um, you know, little things. Like this. Para mi amigo Ma Mateo. Look at that. Duran is the man. And then along with these... Um, Duran was selling those those pages from the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. cool. You know, I'm, some of these I'm going to frame just to have. They're super cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I know that uh, the guys in Germany bought a whole bunch of these. Right. And uh, I was able to snag a few from the maestro himself. And I was extremely excited about that. Just. And they're all signed by him and everything. So I'm I'm, yeah, that's I'm sweet. tickled tickled pink with 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 this gal. I mean she's gorgeous. So I'm gonna get her get her framed up and nice. I was really happy about that. All right. <laughs> well mine's a little bit more lucid, you know. I had to cover mine up. This is <laughs> she can get away with that. Can you actually oh so he actually even drew her yeah, new yeah. genitals. He didn't finish the face, so I mean, he uh, kind of left it with no shading and no tones of chiaroscuro in the art. Community. So, I kind of like so it great. though. It's great. I yeah. love it. Yeah, I love the shading he did. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like she's she was getting dressed. Oh, that's a. Yeah. I, I'm jelly, dude. That's a great so, piece, Rob. Don't tell your you wife. <laughs> I showed it to her. It's all right. But now the um. I talked to Duran when he showed when I showed him this, and he said he used these for magazine ads for perfume. So a lot of these have a perfume bottle next to it, or was an ad in the newspaper, and he used these as models for it. So a lot of times you'll see them like posted up on this side. Or this side it would have been like a a huge perfume bottle. Oh, the perfume the bottle would have covered up yeah. the parts. Right. So this is like one of the ones that was an adult magazine, and then he gave me one too. You know, he didn't put right. Roberto like I did before, but it's Robert. He just wrote for my Para mi amigo. Robert. I love it. It's cool. So, yeah, that's awesome. Very nice. It fits well in a mylar, so I said perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I was hoping I'd have my Cortez lithograph print by now, but it's in the mm. mail. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I mean, I mm -hmm. I really would have liked to. I will definitely be showing that at some point. It's so different. I mean, it's not Cortez horror. It's more like Cortez uh, making something for his grandma or something. <laughs> but, yeah. Absolutely. But I still like it because it has his signature on it. So I'm going to actually own something that has Cortez's signature on it. So I'm really excited about Ooh. that. But yeah, that's, that's not awful. here yet. It's not here yet. But you can put it right there next to Venom in the back. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how I'm going to display it yet. But I'm, That I'm, was a while definitely. ago when you bought that, wasn't it? Um, yeah, but it's Brazil. Yeah, but yeah, it's that's taken a, that's taken a while. Well, I mean, I just slow, slow, man. They're, I, they're I just had that one package in Germany to sit in the customs for a month from Germany. Brazil's postal is still real bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it's hasn't really even. Bad. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's here. I think it's sitting at customs here in the states. But yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I, I'll, I'll, and I got that print, and I got that that book too. So Ooh. I got another uh, Terra Otero Negro on its way nice. to me. Love it, love it. I've been on the horde trip this year because of Josh. <laughs> Fucking Josh got me off my sets. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. We will definitely be on the move with more content. We've kind of slacked this summer. It's summertime. We've all been doing our things, but I know Josh and Rob are going to be joining in and and uh, throwing some modern love into the channel. And uh, oh yeah, we will be back soon. And be sure to check out all the other great content and. Uh, <laughs> Nice. Rob is still showing off as we go. Is that Russian? <laughs> Russian. <laughs> Russian. Russian right. moon girl. Modern. Craziness. Nice. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon.